guess what? You have completed phase one of Control Freak! You should be feeling so proud of yourself right now. Seriously, you guys, take a second to just appreciate the last three weeks. You have been drinking your Shakeology. You've been rocking your Energize and Recover. You've been getting your collagen or power greens or whatever else you're adding into those shakes. And then you're getting your nutrition on track. You're getting whole grains, protein, veggies, fruit, healthy fats, and even your seeds and dressings. You're getting all the containers in. You're figuring it all out. You're tallying, you're tracking, you're meal planning, you're meal prepping. And then you're hitting these workouts, right? You're getting into that control track. You're using the core ball. You're using your weights. You're sweating. You're getting your cardiovascular moving. You're getting your body pumping. Your body's probably going through a crap ton of changes right now, if I had to guess. And it's probably going through a little bit of a roller coaster where you have some amazing experiences and maybe some that you're really struggling with, okay? This is part of the process, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> but just know, you guys, that going through the ups and downs through a challenge is totally normal. Some days you may be crushing it, right? Some days you're like, man, I'm getting my nutrition. I hit my workout. I killed it. I'm feeling amazing. My skin is glowing. <laughs> and then you might hit next week and it's all of a sudden I'm, I'm bloated. I don't have my meals prepped. I'm barely getting my con all my containers in. I'm half-assed that workout. That's part of it, you guys. And not every day is going to be your best day, but also not every day should be your worst day. So we have to find some kind of balance. And if you can look back and reflect over the last three weeks and really take a look at it and say, how did I do? Do I feel like I had more good days than bad? Do I feel like I learned something? Do I feel feel like I'm gaining momentum? Do I feel like I'm putting my full effort into this? Okay. These are things you need to start asking yourself now and assessing how phase one went for you. And then let's see how we can make adjustments for phase two. Okay. First of all, I want you guys to recognize, I know Tessa had said it to us, is making sure you recognize that that schedule is going to change. Your rest days are going to change, which means it might change when and where you can work out. You know, maybe you had Thursdays off and Thursdays were your busiest day, but now Thursdays in a workout and you're going to have to figure out where that goes in in your schedule. Okay, so assess what the next three weeks are going to look like compared to what the last three weeks have looked like. So maybe you need to adjust. Maybe you realize, man, I am not planning my meals enough. I'm not making enough to last throughout through the whole week. So I need to get an extra, you know, turkey burger so I can make extra extra ground turkey and so I can have meals for the whole week because I noticed that every time if I only made five I got to Friday and Saturday and Sunday I started to fall off so maybe I need to prep for my weekends maybe now that the t um, the day has changed on your off days maybe you can't meal prep on Sunday and now you're gonna have to meal prep on Wednesday and that's gonna kind of just and change things you guys, you have to plan. You have to plan. Because if you don't plan for these changes, they're going to come up, they're going to sneak up by surprise, and they're going to bite you in the ass, just like a mosquito, okay? And then you're going to be sitting there itching your ass in your head going, what is going on? <laughs> um, but for real, you guys, take a couple minutes to, first of all, congratulate yourself for getting through phase one. And then take another moment to appreciate all that you've done, all that you've been changing, all that you've been experiencing, all that you've been pushing through. And now ask yourself, how can I take this content and this knowledge and this mindset into phase two? Because you guys, I know in the beginning, it's super easy to be super excited about it. Oh, it's new workouts. Oh, it's new meal plans. Oh, it's all shiny objects, right? And then you're gonna start working into phase two and you're gonna notice some girls are gonna fall off, unfortunately, um, because they didn't have the right mindset going into phase two. They go, oh, phase one, I killed it, da, da, da. I don't need to plan, I don't need to prep, I don't need to do that, I know it now. 
and then slowly they start to fall off. Okay. And that is always super unfortunate because you guys, the results that you got in phase one are nothing like the results you're going to get in phase two and even phase three. This whole program is designed to go together from week one to week nine. And if you're only putting your all into phase one and then you start slacking in phase two, it's going to show in your results and your results are going to be nowhere near you want or expected them to be by the end. Okay. You have to continue being diligent with your meal prep, diligent with your um, tracking, and you're going to have to continue pushing yourself, maybe lifting a little heavier, maybe getting that heavier band out for phase two, or maybe just squeezing a little bit more and engaging a little bit more now that you know the moves and you can use your core track or your control track. And now you're kind of familiar with it. So it doesn't take you as long to move it and, and stay with them in the time frame. Now is an opportunity to reassess those goals you had. Okay, so if you came in and you said, hey, I wanna lose five pounds, maybe you lost five pounds in phase one. So now what? Maybe now you wanna tone and focus on your core. Maybe now you want that bulging bicep. You know, so what else is it have you achieved and can you adjust or make bigger and how can you really raise those goals up? I will give you one little hint, you guys. Do not decrease your goal ever, okay? Some of you guys might be saying, oh, I wanted to lose 20 pounds, but I only lost two pounds in phase one, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to lose 20 pounds in the whole phase, so maybe I'll drop my goal down to 10 pounds. Do not do that, look at me. Look at me, don't do that. Never decrease the goal, only increase your effort. Okay, that's a Grant Cardone um, quote. You guys, it's one of my all time favorites. It's one of my newer favorites, um, but it is oh so good. Because a lot of us realize, oh, I'm not getting close to my goal. Well, let's bring it down so it's more achievable. So what, you don't have to work as hard? No, leave that goal high and then begin to continue working harder and higher, okay? Do not decrease that goal, increase your effort, okay? You can do this, stick with it. Even if you get to the end of the nine weeks and you have not hit that goal, you can start the program over. You can continue on to another program. Oh, there's a little naked boy. <laughs> Okay, so lastly, what I would love to talk to you guys about is reassessing your nutrition as well. After each phase, you should always recalculate your um, meal plan. Just in case, like I had somebody that has actually already lost 11 pounds during this challenge. And so maybe if she actually recalculates, that could adjust her meal plan here in phase two as well. So make sure you're really double checking, like, okay, if I've lost weight, have I reassessed what meal plan I'm on? Cause that really can change it. Um, you know, I know we were talking to Tanil and she was like, I'm doing plan A until I kind of get back in action and then I'll move back to plan C for phase two or three. And so you guys can do that as well. Feel free to fluctuate and try things out and see how it works in your body. Your body is completely different than my body. So me on plan C, pretty much always works but maybe if you're trying to like tighten the reins lose some weight maybe you need to bump down to plan b and, and really you know kind of see if you can get back in reins of that and then you can add on back to plan c just like a couple of the girls are doing in the challenge group okay so there's plenty of options for you. If you are running out of things to make for food, I highly suggest you jump on the Fixate channel. You can jump into like one of these recipe books. You guys, there's all kinds of recipes online. Each program has material in it and each material has recipes in it. So even if it's not in, um, in Control Freak, you can still look up those recipes and they're all uh, 21 day fix approved or like fix eight approved like this one. Ooh, Mexican tofu breakfast scamp scramble pumpkin pancakes. What a simple breakfast. This is actually usually like my go-to the simple breakfast, just literally like eggs, tomatoes, avocado toast. That's like kind of my go-to breakfast. I, unless 
we're eating as a family like and I'm like making a full-on breakfast typically my breakfast is like pick food like you know like I pick at it and I eat it um but guys look how good this sounds zucchini and red pepper sweet potato frittata which is awesome because it has that green red yellow and blue in it and so you could probably prep this in like a large uh, pan and then divide it up and have it pre-divided up for you each morning. So, so you're going to have to think outside the box, continue pushing yourself, continue planning, and just know that you're only a third of the way through. Okay. You've completed a third of the program, which is totally something to be proud of, but it's not the whole program. You cannot stop now. You must keep going, you must keep pushing if you want those real results that the full nine week program can provide, okay? So don't stop here, keep going, keep planning, keep prepping, and keep trucking, right? Tell them, bub. Say, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Wakeboard. Wakeboard, no, we're talking about working out. <laughs> All right, ladies, I will see you first thing tomorrow when we start phase two. Ah, how exciting. Phase two of Control Freak. He's doing three. Don't listen to him. He likes to be the opposite of me. <laughs> I do not like right. this finger up. Okay, we're not done with that. Yet. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.